and lean back, and I have a chair here that I have my arms on. And what we're going to do is go through these muscle relaxation exercises. In order to do that, we're going to start with one particular. You could start uh, different places in the body. I'm going to start with the right arm, and the right forearm and fist. And the first thing I'm going to do is squeeze those together. And then I let it loose, and I feel it starting to relax a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit at this point. And so I'm going to do it again. I squeeze my fist together of my right forearm and hand and let it loose. And this time I can feel the energy flow out and it's feeling more relaxed. Now still not relaxed enough, so I'm going to do it one more time. Squeeze that hand together in the forearm and let it relax. Okay, now, if I were to make a subjective comparison between my right arm, which I'm not going to move now because it's relaxed and I don't want to disturb it, and my left arm, my right arm feels much more relaxed. It would be somewhat difficult for me to move the hand. It would uh, be some effort for me to move the hand. It feels nice and relaxed at this point. Now I might move up to another muscle group. So I take my tricep and my bicep at this point. And I squeeze them together, try not to disturb the lower arm, squeeze them together against each other, and then let them relax. Again, feel the muscle, feel the energy flow out of the muscle, and it's getting a bit more relaxed. Again, I won't need to do it again here. Tighten it up and let it loose, and it's feeling a bit more relaxed. I feel the energy flowing out. And one more time should be enough for it. Do it quickly this time. Okay. Now, my whole right arm feels pretty relaxed almost like it's perhaps paralyzed and I, it takes something for me to, to move it at this point. Certainly much more relaxed than my left arm, which feels quite normal at this point. And so I'd want to move on perhaps to my left arm, and I'd do the same sort of thing. I'm going to take you through this a little quicker than I would do if we were doing a real therapeutic session. In the therapeutic session, it might take uh, a whole hour to go through this and, and make sure we, we get each muscle group relaxed, particularly the first time. As you learn this, you can do it more quickly. Now I go to the left arm and do the, the forearm and, and uh, fist and feel the energy flow out. And again, making a comparison, the left arm's starting to get relaxed, but it's nowhere near where the right arm is. The right arm's starting to get really nicely relaxed. So do the forearm again on the left side, let it relax, and then feel the energy flow out, getting a bit more relaxed. I'll do that one more time and then do the, the biceps and triceps, and I'll try to hurry this along just a little bit more. And the biceps and triceps again, and feel the energy flow out. Now I'm sitting here with both of my arms relatively relaxed. I can feel a, still a difference where my right arm is, it hasn't moved in a while and it's feeling quite relaxed. All right, now I want to move on to some other muscle groups, and we have muscle groups throughout our body. So I might start at the top of my head. And uh, I can uh, actually move my skull separate from my, uh, from my head. Uh, those who have that ability to do so, you can wiggle your ears and you have a problem because if you wear glasses, your glasses will also uh, drift down your nose every time you move your skull back and forth like that. But if I pull my skull back like that and then let it relax, I can feel the top of my head getting more relaxed. And then I might be able to move down to my face and squeeze my face together, making kind of a grotesque kind of thing where I squeeze my face together like a prune. Mm. Like that, and then I let it go. And I can feel uh, that relaxing a little bit, and I might move down to my jaw and squeeze, clench my teeth and squeeze my jaw together. And then let it relax. And I'm doing it too quickly to get very relaxed, but at this point my, my head ought to be fairly relaxed. Move down to my neck and squeeze my... Uh, neck muscles together, and then let them relax. Carry a lot of tension often in our necks. Let that relax. Go to our shoulders and uh, squeeze our shoulders and our pectoral muscles together, and let them relax. Feel the energy flow out again. Down to our abdominal muscles and, and uh, uh, flex our abdominal muscles, kind of like we're about to do a sit-up, and let those relax and then move down to uh, perhaps my, my hips and squeeze my cheeks together, 
and, uh, and then let them relax. And my legs, my, my uh, quad muscles in my legs, I, I can flex those. If I can avoid having a cramp here, I'll be doing a good job and let those relax. And down to my calf and flex my calf and let that relax. Again, I do these each of these probably more like three or so times. And each time, judging back by the sort of referent muscles that I started with to make sure I'm getting things relaxed. And then down to my feet where I may splay my toes apart and then let that relax. Now, at this point, I am beginning to feel fairly relaxed, and if I'd taken a little more time to do this, I would be in a state where I could begin this kind of therapy that we're going to talk about. This is useful, by the way, for some other kinds of things. If you're having insomnia, for example, you can try progressive muscle relaxation to try to relax yourself in bed so that you end up sort of feeling like a sandbag there just lying in bed with all your muscles relaxed. And so you can use it for various things. In fact, uh, it's part of meditation sometimes where you attach this to a word, uh, a mantra, and uh, associate it with the, this relaxed state, and then you can bring it on fairly quickly. So even if you're driving, uh, say, in traffic and get stopped at a traffic light for two minutes and you've had a quite tense day and your, your body's all tense, you can go through progressive muscle relaxation and relax at the stop sign. Uh, not going through all of these uh, things that we've done right here, but if you learn to feel what your body is like when it's relaxed by having gone th through progressive muscle relaxation a number of times, and then you associate it with another stimulus, like a word, you can sometimes bring yourself into a relaxed state in 30 seconds or, or a minute. And uh, so you, can, you might find uh, that a useful kind of talent to develop. So if you were a client of mine, we would have gone through this, this exercise and gotten you into a nice, relaxed state. Joint pain. We've all had it at one time or another, and it can be uncomfortable to say the least. But is there a safer, better alternative to this complex problem? Well, I'm glad you asked. The answer is yes. Researchers have identified some key building blocks in our joints and cartilage and have found naturally occurring sources of them in our environment. By adding these ingredients into our diets, scientists have found some wonderful results with regard to joint health. Chondroitin is a major building block involved in the formation and repair of cartilage, the tough, flexible tissue that cushions the joints. Chondroitin also helps attract water into the cartilage matrix, which in turn prevents bone-to-bone -bone contact, especially in the weight-bearing joints, such as the knees and hips, the optimum daily dose of chondroitin is 1200 milligrams, which usually involves taking three to four tablets per day. Glucosamine is found in high concentrations in joint tissues. It is used in the production of chondroitin. However, as we age, our bodies decrease the natural production of glucosamine. Therefore, supplementation of this joint structural component is important. While individually, glucosamine and chondroitin are effective, clinical studies have shown that the combination is particularly beneficial in reducing symptoms of joint pain and stiffness. Sulfur is a component of healthy hair, skin, nails, tendons, and joints. MSM, a naturally occurring organic sulfur compound, provides the essential sulfur that is necessary to build strong collagen and therefore strong and healthy cartilage. Seladrin is a patented blend of cetylated fatty acids. This category of fatty acids have been shown to improve joint range of motion and seladrin is thought to exert its effects by enhancing cell membrane health and integrity as well as by increasing joint lubrication. I was rear-ended in a car accident and my hip, my shoulder, um, and my neck on the right side were in constant pain. Two to three times a week I was going to a chiropractor and it wasn't helping it. I started taking flex and three days later my pain was gone. What's great is that these compounds are safe and can be used on a long-term basis. What's even better is Agile's patented flex. This formulation is a first because it has all four of these ingredients in one formulation. It's no surprise that Agile Flex was awarded as the best new supplement by the American Business Awards. Pick up yours today. You'll be amazed. <laughs>